and as he takes off it drops down 8.8 .8. that sucker clipped on let's see what it reads before we take off looks like we got 11.4 all right go ahead and as he takes off it drops down 8.8 .8. so i mean each each battery is doing that all the way across so we're we're losing initially three volts a battery and this being a you know 72 volt system that's bringing it down to where it's runtime is basically nothing so uh we'll get the batteries replaced in this golf cart and it'll be like brand new all over again and they will stop running into having that runtime problem so uh all right got the new battery pack in these in this 72 volt easy go txt and uh we're gonna now show you the difference on battery dropout and uh, to start with, we're going to get back to our handy dandy voltage probe. And you're going to put it on either side, it don't matter, it's going to give you the same reading. One's going to be a, a, a red and one will be a green if you have the digital style and it's got a little LED that lights up. Which I'm sure you guys seen that yesterday. But there's a very healthy battery there, 12.7. Let's read all the way across, see what we get. 12 12.7 12.7 12.6 and 12.7 so they're all super close together and uh, I'm going to take a little short ride here and and uh, see how bad they drop. Shouldn't be bad at all. Look at that. Doesn't even drop past 12 volts at all. And that's exactly what you're looking for uh, when you're doing a battery job uh, is to determine how far the pack is actually uh dropping from battery to battery not the whole pack i mean because the whole pack can give you a false reading um, but when you are looking at pack voltage when you have a 72 volt golf cart rule of thumb is is that closer to 80 volts is actually healthy super healthy battery pack if you're in around 72 volts after a full charge that means it's only about three quarters of the way charged uh so uh keep that in mind and uh <clears throat> hopefully this video helps you guys out kind of understand a little more about battery dropout and how you can determine uh, whether you have a battery issue or a charger issue in this case it was a battery issue due to the fact that each individual battery in this pack was dropping you know two to three volts per battery which at the end of the day when it comes to pack voltage you're losing 12 volts you're losing a whole battery and the more you go the more batteries continue to drop out so just uh, keep that in mind and uh, keep maintaining these batteries really good. Uh, water them every 30 days or so and uh, keep them on charge. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching and uh, y'all have a good one.